Okay. Hey guys. How you ya? Hi. Hey oh. All that junk. Why every way to say hi? So today I want to tell you about the future of Harry Potter, The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, which is quite the same thing, and Narnia. They're all related in a way. Don't you think Narnia is in Britain? So, there must be a large part of the magical world. But, but they didn't want that magic to expose. So they did the next, next thing. They put all their magic into a wardrobe, hidden that wardrobe, and put an enchanting charm that only in particular times that can be revealed. But in particular times, what do you mean by particular times? Well, I'll tell you what I mean by particular times. Well, I don't really know what it means. But when you deeply need it, and for the Lord of the Rings, the magic ones are called. All the ma they. Uh, do you think Aslan has four cruxes? Oh, do you think he will live forever? Even if he dies, he can get reborn. Oh, where else is I remind you of? Horcruxes. What could the horcruxes be? Well, I'll tell you what they are. They're the Lord of the Rings. Do you want to know there's five rings? And when that like little goblin dude says, My precious, my precious. Because they're horcruxes. And he's a servant to Aslan. I haven't really read or watched the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings film. But if they did get destroyed, Aslan still has one more Horcrux. His Santa. Why do you think he lives forever? Sorry. Um, oh, Santa's sleigh. That's what I meant. Like, look. When the White Witch banished him, that he helped Aslan to stay alive forever. Not only did she ban Santa, she ban his sleigh as well. So, so would you want like your Horcrux to never be found for a hundred years? Oh, and that's exactly what he did. Well, put him to the Santa sleigh because he knew he was going to be banished. But eventually, the White Witch um was false. Um, had false magic. Eventually, in like two, one, 200 or 100 years later, it rebounded. So, Prince, so that put Aslan in more danger. But when he finally killed the White Witch, Santa, Santa and Aslan were in less danger, which is a good thing. But don't you think if Aslan can live forever, then how is that related? Or how's Narnia and this Lord of the Rings theory related to Harry Potter? Oh, I'll tell you how. how. The person who made this wardrobe is neither one of the three brothers or nobody else besides Dumbledore. Like, who else do you think has that strong magic? Because, do you ever see him die? Actually, you do see him die. But that's after all his Horcruxes were destroyed. Fox was his Horcrux. So where do you think Fox came from? Narnia! And what's Fox's Horcrux? Do you keep him going and going and going? One of the rings. But you think there's like five or ten rings in there. I know what you're thinking. If you read or seen the Narnian films, then you'll think this. But Narnia has been going on for thousands of years. More, more older than Dumbledore. As how you see in the ending of Narnia, you would see 30-year-old everybody coming back and turning back to kids. So that, so do you know what that means? Or something similar to that. It probably was something similar to that. Well, I know I was going to say something, but I totally forgot. 
what could it be? Hmm. Well, anything else? If I got anything to know, I will. I'm gonna do that video about it. But right, but right now, for my question to you, bro, or magical man, if you call yourself, my question to you: Do you really think this theory is true of how the Hobbit, or AKA Lord Rings, Narnia, and Harry Potter are related in one way? Because, don't they all share one thing? Yes. Well, two of them share one thing. I'm not sure about, I don't really know what the Hobbit or the Lord of the Rings, but they both share the set. The setting for Harry Plant outfit. England. But, my question for you, do you really think Aslan, Dumbledore, and Gandalf all have something to do with each other? Well, for that down below, if you think yes or no. And my little buddy right here. Can I say? Can I say? Can I No? Okay. So. Good. Sorry, just making sure. Uh, oh, she's safe or something. So, I want to say bye.